In this tutorial, I will give you the introduction of the menus in the Catalon Studio, the introduction of a quick access toolbar, test explorer, how to manage and organize the tests in the test explorer, then the keywords browser, the use of the keywords browser, editors, different editors that we have in the uh, Catalon Studio, and perspective. Menus. Menus in Catalon Studio. So these are the menus in the Catalon Studio. File, Action, Edit, Project, Debug, Test Ops, Windows, Tools, and Help. File menu. It contains new, uh, wherein you can create new projects, new folder, test cases, test suits, then new sample projects. Uh, Catalon has provided some sample projects to us, so you can use this to create the new sample project. Then open project is to open the existing project. Import Selenium IDE scripts to import the Selenium IDE scripts in Catalon Studio. This is the beta version, uh, which is introduced recently in the Catalon. Then save button to save the project. Clean up. It cleans up the temporary files which are there in the Catalon. Uh, these files are in the given location. You can go to the C colon users app data local temp and Catalon and you will find all the temporary files lying there for your project which you have recently worked on. So you, when you click on clean up button, clean up menu, then uh, all the temporary files gets cleaned up from there, gets deleted from there. Then import settings. You can import settings from other project to this project. Then import keywords. You can import the custom keywords that you have created in the other projects to the current project and use it. Then quit button to quit from Catalon Studio. Next is actions menu. In action menu, you get API web services uh, recording buttons. Then the button for spy the web, spy mobile. Then the record web button, record mobile button. Add keywords, you can add keywords from there. Then run on different browsers. Run. Run the, ex run the scripts which you have uh, recorded. You can run those from di on different browsers from here, from this menu. Then debug, you can de debug, to debug on different browsers and search for different things in the Catalon, test cases or uh, objects in the object repository, etc. Edit menu. In edit, undo and redo, these are only two things available. Then project menu. In project menu, you can search for different test cases, test objects, and uh, test suits, etc. Then refresh the project. Settings, settings we will see in detail later. Then close, close the project, and close and clean up. It will close the project and clean up the temporary files from the project. Next is debug menu. You can debug the project the same way the normal debug options are available here. Step into, step over, step out, toggle breakpoints, keep all breakpoints, remove all breakpoints. And test ops menu. Catalon test ops is the facility given by the Catalon. Uh, you can create your own test of settings on, in the Catalon project. Then uh, you can add, you can integrate Jira with the Catalon Studio. I have shared my Jira integration steps uh, with Catalon Studio uh, in my different another video. So I have shared the link for it in the comments below. You can go to go through it and add the Jira, integrate the Jira to Catalon Studio in just seven easy steps, okay? So uh, here in Catalon Studio, you can integrate Jira 
cutest test rail then you can integrate continuous integration also with ketlon in very easily in very very few time so you can integrate it with jenkins bamboo dockers then dependency management can be done by gradle plugin chat ops is also available then requests connects you directly to the catalon forum then next is window menus uh, you can reset the perspective i will show you how then the command palette is there themes you can change the themes and catalon studio preferences we will see a detail in detail later then uh, tools menu in tools menu there are plugins in you can install the plugins uninstall the plugins update web drivers then terminate the running web driver or import export it, test artifacts in the utility menu then uh, uh, you can install dependencies of ios web driver agents then uh, there is the menu to install the winapp drivers show unused test objects also is there in the test objects the menu of say show unused test objects is there then quick access toolbar these are the menus that we have spoken about just now now we are going to see the quick access tools this is the quick access toolbar of catalog studio and these are different tools available on this toolbar so we will see one by one this is the save button to save save and save all button then test ops when you configure or when you integrate with test ops you can work with this then git you can integrate catalon with git so this is the button to integrate with git clone the project share the project on git then push and pull the commit the project so uh, next is spy web button then record web button the use of these buttons i have um, shared in my different videos i will uh, share the link for those videos in my comments below so you can check it then uh, next is spy mobile spy uh, record mobile then spy windows object and record windows actions buttons so all these actions are also given actions and menus for these actions are given over here spy the spy web and spy mobile record web and record mobile run so where is it run run is here so you can run on different browser run the test case run the project on different browser this is stop button this button is build cmd command line so you can build the command line for your project um, using this cmd button we will learn this in detail in my next video again this is default profile this is profile what is profile and how it is helpful for the project we will learn it in detail you can store the project code on cloud so catalon has provided that facility through this button we are currently working on keyword perspective editors and perspectives as i told you we are currently in the keyword perspective uh, there is one more perspective that is debug perspective if you click on debug this will show in the debug mode here you can uh, check the variable the values of the variable breakpoints in the debug mode you can switch back to the keyword keyword perspective by clicking on keyword in case if anything happens to this view and it changed uh, to uh, abnormal view then you can change it again by clicking on window and reset perspective and it will reset your view or perspective to keyword or the default one then the text explorer 
this is this test explorer of the catalon studio so in test explorer we can maintain the test cases or your project in a better way the object repository folder is different test suit folder is different data files folder is different take keywords folder test cases in test cases also you can create different folders for different test cases or say different uh, uh, for different scenarios you will have different test cases so you can uh, add the folders as a scenario and in that folder you can add different test cases so this way the test explorer helps us and uh, also you can search for the test case in the uh, test case or object in the object repository or anything test suit or data file by searching here so example is i will search for login and it will give me test case and object having the login text if i select as password it if i search with the password then it searches for the password if you just want to search in the object repository or just want to search in the test suit or test case then it also gives you that facility if i select test case then there is no password in password in the test case if you if you give login now it will give only test case having login name it is not showing the object repository if you select all then it will show you object repository so this way you can search for the specific keywords words in the file so that you can search data in the project details in the project so this is the test explorer keywords browser this is the keywords browser this helps us to provide different keywords that are built-in keywords, web UI keywords, mobile keywords, cucumber keywords, and custom keywords also are available if you want. Then the utility keywords. So you can directly add these keywords from here to your uh, test case, like drag and drop over here, and this is added. So it's, it's, it is so simple to use and you can search for any keyword. Finding the keywords will be difficult here, right? Because there are many keywords. So you want the click keyword. So you can say click and you get the click related keyword. So you can take any of the keyword and drag and drop here and use it. So keyword browser is handy and useful to you for test scripting project settings menu and catalon studio preferences in the projects menu you get the settings these settings includes different settings of plugins of the project or the plugins whatever you are added will be shown here then the project information where you have stored your project then the test design so uh, it includes the default failure handling which i have explained in the uh, manual and scripting mode of testing in my another video uh, i have shared the link to that video in the comments below actually you can use these stop on failure continue on failure optional these failure handling steps for any test step uh, by selecting here if you select continue on failure here in this project settings then it will be applied to all the test steps that you uh, give in the scripting it will apply to all these test te steps if you select stop on failure here it will be applied to all the test steps if you want to use specific failure handling method to a specific step then how to do it i have given it in the manual and scripting mode of testing in my another video then external libraries you can add email settings uh, we will explain it in de in detail 
in the later videos then uh, execution this also i will explain in later videos that this is very uh, explanatory and very uh, useful for us in testing so these are the different settings of the projects which we can apply on the project again in windows catalon studio preferences you can uh, work on the preferences of this to catalon studio you can uh, change any of the default settings of the catalon if you want if you require for your project so this is for the catalon preferences git settings mobile settings object spy settings and so on thank you for watching this video but i would recommend you to not just to watch it but to try it by yourself as this is very easy tool to use and very trending currently so use it and do subscribe to my video so that you will get the notifications on the new videos thank you Please do like and subscribe by clicking button given below this video. For any questions, please mention in the comments below. Thank you.